Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Well, my insurance papers came in. Finally have full coverage on the car. Today I'm going to go pick up the tags, the license plate tags, so we can legally put it on the road. And I was going through all the old insurance forms. Guys, I said I bought this car back in 2002, correct? I don't know what the heck is going on here. I, I, I think I'm off on my time. Because I totally have an insurance here from the original company, ING Insurance Company, that shows that my effective insurance date was August 8th, 2001. But this doesn't make sense because I bought the car in the winter. I bought it in, I was driving it in the snow the first time I got the car. Like there was snow on the ground and I literally drove it home and parked it at my neighbor's house because he had a wider driveway and only one vehicle. Yet it totally says, Oh, I know what's going on. Because I had the Ford Tempo at the same time, which was my daily, I just added the Trans Am to the insurance. Yeah, I was gonna say, because I bought the Tempo in 2000 off my uh, friend's grandparents because they were no longer gonna use it. And I just wanted a car. I didn't care what the heck it was. So I bought the Tempo. It had insurance. And then I wanted a summer car because my buddy was getting an Eclipse. I wasn't really into the rice rocket scene, like the Eclipses and the Hondas and all that. I wanted something with a little bit more, you know, brap, a little bit more sound. I wanted a damn V8. So that's why I picked up the Trans Am, and that's what the actual car I was looking for. It was uh, tossed between that and a 1978 Chevy Camaro, but the Camaro, the body on it was just fried. So I was like, oh man, this is going to take a lot of work to get it back on the road. And the Trans Am at the time was in perfect condition, except for a couple that are now covered rust holes. Uh, not really holes, but rust on the uh, driver's side door and that Bondo mark in the back bumper that it looks like Buddy backed into a dumpster, which is all covered now. So that's good. That's good. But yeah, I guess having insurance on my car and then just adding the Trans Am to the policy... That was before I ever heard of Silver Wheel or anything like that. But even then, when I bought the car, uh, in two, because it was 2002, and it's an 88, so the car was, what, 12 years old? Yeah, about 12 years old. So, you, you can't really... That's not right. My math is way the frig off. That would have been 16 years old. Am I right on that? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, it's too early in the morning, guys. It's currently uh, 8 a.m. I got to go to work today. It's Friday. You're on Vlogging Life. We work from uh, 9 to noon. Half day freaking Friday. Hey! And then uh, we're going to go to Canadian Tire because I want to pick up some more plates. Uh, not for eating, for lifting. Uh, I need to get some more uh, plates for my neural bar or my easy curl. Uh, my body's in pain. I am in so much pain right now, guys. This whole week, I haven't picked up the camera once, uh, except for on Monday when I did some more uh, work on the car. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, didn't even bother filming. All I've been doing is working out, get home from work, and do uh, isolated workouts. Uh, Tuesday, I friggin' banged out my back. I did uh, tons of back workout targeting different areas with different methods and just went ape and then yeah um, Wednesday I did chest where I literally brought my chest to complete failure to the point where bench pressing 30 pounds was near impossible like you're pushing it and it just feels like you're trying to lift a house you're just like oh, holy crap like you just couldn't and I literally started off with as much weight as I could put on the bow flex it's a real pain in the ass trying to load every power bar onto the hooks they give you. Like, the big ones go on no problem, but then the little ones are like, they're really finicky and they don't go on there right. And it's just, oh, it's just a pain in the ass. And then I just kept knocking weight down and then every time I got to the point where I was at complete failure and I couldn't move it anymore, I would get up and knock like some poundage off and then go again until it was at failure and then knock some poundage off and go again and go again to the point like I said I had the 30 pound resistance on there and I could barely move it so I was like that's good enough and right now my packs are just still on fire from Wednesday it's currently Friday and tomorrow's chest day again and I really don't want to do chest day if um, they still hurt but you gotta do what you gotta do to get shit dead you know what I mean so that's the thing
But today we got some sanding to do uh, after we get back from Canadian Tire and go to the Service Ontario and get new tags for the uh, for the car. I'm thinking about buying a two year for it because let's face it, if I haven't gotten rid of the Trans Am yet, I probably won't. So why not do like the truck, put two years on it. That way there next year, the moment the snow melts and the streets are swept, I can just jump in my car and take it for a rip. Now, like I said, I do plan on bringing it to a mechanic and having it looked over. I just want to get it on the road first. Uh, take it for a quick rip around the block just to see how things feel. Get an idea because I don't like bringing it to a mechanic blind. I like to know because I'm not saying my mechanic would screw me over. Just nice to say like, no, that's not the case. I drove the car. It's, you know, show me what's going on. I've been screwed over by Canadian Tire a couple times, guys. Like, they tried. My old Ford tried to tell me I need a new brake rotors, but the rotor they showed me. You guys know Ford Focus? They only have, like, four lugs? Well, they brought out a five-lug friggin' rotor. See your rotor here? It's all worn. I said, that's that's a worn rotor, but that's not mine. They're trying to get me to buy products I didn't need. So it's like, I know how to check things. I know how to check suspension. I know how to check basic things. Um... If I can get the car in the air, I want to check the fuel, like just visually inspect the fuel lines and the uh, freaking brake lines. But worst case, uh, I, want, I still want to get it in and just make sure everything's good. I got to buy new wiper blades for it too because the ones that are on there are pretty rotten. The, they're dry rotted to shit. So probably from uh, the multiple years because like last time that car was driven was like five years ago anyway that's the battle plan for today is uh get off work go to canadian tire pick up those olympia plates uh it's 50 pounds 25 pounds per side so that'll bring the uh, curl bar right up to 100 pounds which will be good for the sumo deadlifts i've been using for my leg workouts which by the way my legs are dead like, they're dead right now. Walking sucks. That's why I'm sitting and not pacing right now. Because the more I can sit, the happier I am. Just right now, though. But like I said, we got some sanding to do today. When we get back, I want to uh, do everything over at 800. And then we're going to go right to 15, or 800, 1,000, 15, polish. And I'm hoping the end result is a super shiny car. Tomorrow, we'll uh, figure out how to jack the car up. I looked at it online to figure out where the jacking points are because I've, on, honest to God, guys, I've never jacked up a car. So I'm learning and I'm hoping my first time I don't fire the freaking car jack through the floor of the damn car because that would piss me off. Anyway, better pattern, have at her, and uh, let's go. All right, so we're down here at Canadian Tire. Let's go pick up some freaking stuff. Yeah, so we got. I bought some oil, some Quaker State, full synthetic, whatever. It's uh, designed for turbocharged engine because the Trans Am is totally turbo. I uh, bought some more Borax. I didn't get the weights, guys. I didn't get the weights. They didn't have them in stock. Website says they do. Apparently, they don't. Website lies. Anyway, onward to Service Ontario. Let's go pick up the tags for Dirty Bird. All right, guys. Stickers acquired. Sweet. It's easier than I thought. They had to call it in and confirm the insurance was valid. And once they were done that, they were like, no problem. Here you go. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming out. JJ, 100 bucks. It's supposed to be $60 a year, but they charged me $40 for the rest of this year and then $60 for next year. How nice of them. Let's go home. All right, guys. We're back. We're in the garage. So like I said, bought some oil for the car. Do that another day or maybe today. We'll see how we play. Yay, yay. Fire that down here for now. We also got an oil filter for the car because you never change the oil without changing the filter. Some people do, but I believe if you're gonna go through the hassle of dropping the oil while you're down there, rip the filter off, spend nine bucks and buy another one. Now I've never bought a Quaker State filter before. This car has always ran Fram. I was told Fram's bad, so we decided not to go that route. We'll see how this Quaker State oil filter holds up. Apparently the Fram ones like to collapse in on themselves. Seen videos on it. Looks pretty epic. Okay, uh, also, I decided to pick up some more borax. Gonna kill some more weeds. Not in the backyard. This is for the driveway. And to make sure it gets done good, I bought two boxes. And that's about it. 
that's that's what I got. So I'm gonna go get a bite to eat. I know, Adam, you're gonna have a bite to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a bite to eat. Just chill the frig out. And then uh, we'll come out here and we'll get cracking. Get cracking on some sanding. Man, that actually turned out pretty good. You know, I applied that paint, that, that rattle can paint, and there was a lot of people who basically were like, oh, you know. Well, actually, nobody said anything. But um, I almost wish I would have done the whole thing with rattle cans. But you know what? Frig it. It is what it is. But it actually turned out not too bad. Like, it's flat doesn't have orange peel and the hood actually turned out really freaking good I do have to say like okay well there's some spots in the middle that look like shit but uh, I'm pretty sure it looks a hell of a lot better than it did and then we're gonna wet sand it we're gonna polish it it's gonna be all pretty and shiny and oh man it's gonna be amazing I'm gonna head in the house grab a bite to eat and we'll come back out and play with this should be fun should be freaking off. Oh yeah, I don't want to change too because I don't want to wear my good pants in here. Still haven't done laundry and I don't have many clothes left. But I got my dirty old clothes to wear. Let's get filthy, boys. All right, now that we got our Sunday clothes on and food in the belly, it's time to get out there and start sanding down some panels, make them some silky smooth, and then buff the living crap out of them. Pitter patter and have at her. Wow, we're gonna get a storm today. I was gonna lay down the borax, but I think we'll wait for a day when it's not gonna rain. Fun thing today I was doing was I was uh, pinch gripping the two borax uh, boxes, carrying them around, trying to build up that grip strength. Well, as you can see, the deck lid came out pretty freaking good back here. It uh, definitely needs to be sanded smooth, but that's fine. These doors are sanded, need to be sanded more with 800, then washed down, and the hood obviously needs some work too. I think there was still some moisture on it because uh, got some weird, what they call it, fish eyes. Yeah. And I need to sand around the door here and get the, uh, as somebody on YouTube called it, thumbprints out. I'm not too concerned about a pro job. I just want the job to be done so I can enjoy my freaking car people. So I'm going to sit the camera down. Yeah, we got some more fish eyeing around here. Maybe it was still damp when I laid the paint down or something. It doesn't feel too bad, but I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Worst case scenario next year I'll sand it and blast it again. Just really want to get a next couple months in my car. But should be good. Alright, so I hit it with the 800. As you can see, it's no longer shiny. Well, it is in some places because it's still a little wet. Next, I'm going to hit it with the 1000. And then I'm going to follow up with the 1500 and then polish and we'll see what it looks like man remember when it was sunny out yeah it's not sunny out anymore it's freaking raining anyway i've knocked back the hood this fender and this door at 800 grit and 1500 just got to finish this back side do the other side and then do the trunk lid and i'm hoping the rain We'll stop by the time I get to the trunk lid because where I gotta stand my arse is gonna get wet. Yeah. Huh, oh, we'll figure it out. I also gotta go out to my truck and get the tags and put them on the plate. Once again, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's pitter patter and have at her and continue going. Hopefully we don't get a power failure because uh, this thing's not crank operated. I don't know if the camera's picking this up right now, guys, but it's sunny as crazy out right now, and it's also pissing rain. That's a thing. Sun showers. Probably a rainbow in the sky somewhere. Definitely not hitting this garage, because there's no gold in here, just a white turd. Alright, just hit the hood with 2000, it's still wet. Next up is the polishing compound. I'm probably going to hold off on that for a little bit, let the car dry off. And I think I'm going to go and say, what time is it? It's time I clean my Fitbit, that's for sure. Holy shit. It's 4.15. So I'm going to go inside and make a coffee. Probably get some editing done. Let the camera charge because we only have two bars left. And we'll come back out in a bit, polish it up, unmask it. Let's go. I swear it was sunny just a second ago when I came out, and as soon as I walked out the door, it got cloudy again. Anyway, people, I had myself a coffee, made myself some water to have while we polish a Dirty Bird. Figure out where the hell I'm going to put this water, because I got all this borax up here where I normally put it. Over here, like magic. 
I'm not gonna lie, I freaking hurt like hell today, guys. Big time. When you work your muscles to complete failure and you work groups every day, a different group, in the end, the end results is nothing but pure pain while your body is trying to recover. Oh, it's brutal. That's the goal now. Build some mass through failing the muscle right out. Anyway, that's not today's goal. Today I'm actually taking the night off, freaking working out. Just gonna let my body heal, get back into it tomorrow. Should be good. Well, is there like a party happening in my neighborhood? Jesus, Murphy. Anyway, like I said, we're all sanded and we're ready for some polish. So that's gonna be the next step. But like seriously, there's like cars along the side of the road and I found out the house across the street from me there, the one uh, straight over there where that uh, Toyota's or Mazda's parked, that's actually, um, what the hell's in my back? One second, I got something in my back. What is that? It's like a piece of plastic or something in my back. Uh, whatever, anyway. I found out that that house across the street is one of those Airbnbs. And it's why I keep seeing different people coming in there and going in there. And why there's always a party there. I feel bad for the people who own it. It's actually the uh, barbecue babes. Um, the ones that parked the trailer on my lawn. They own that house. And they rent it out Airbnb style. Anyway, despite the fact that it's blurry. There we go. Let's try and polish this hood. I'd set up the GoPro, but I left it in the house and I don't feel like getting it. So... Just have the deal. Before, all right, well, I polished up half the hood and I'm actually pretty happy with this. It's not pro, never was meant to be, but it's better than it was, that's for sure. All right, obviously now I need to do this half. Let's get after it. You know, it might not be a pro paint job, but it definitely looks 100% better than it freaking did before. Yup. So that's what was in my shirt. Wonder what the hell this came from. Anyway, she's all polished. All the sides are done. It's hard to tell because the sun's going down, but you can sort of see a glisten off of it. Off the back lid, maybe. It's hard to tell. Not the greatest paint job. I know, I know. It ain't no pro job. It's a Joe job. Did it myself. This side here didn't turn out as good. I think the main problem is, is how much less room I had over here than I did on the other side. But, I think I'm going to go ahead and start unmasking it. Because uh, the next step is, is getting it started, getting it out of here. Oh no, I got to get it up in the air. But I got to get it started so I can warm up the oil, because we got to drop the oil on this thing. So let's get this polishing shit off the friggin' windshield. And let's start unwrapping it like a present. All right, it's all unmasked. Tires are all clear. I was worried about this one here because it was going flat in the winter. Or was it the back tire? It was the back tire that went flat. And she's still holding a lot of air, so... Uh, you know what? It's not the greatest paint job. I think I got a little bit too much on the exhaust tips. It'll burn off, whatever. Should have put like a garbage bag or something over them, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh man, I wonder if this thing actually has any battery left. Let's see if we can actually roll it over. I doubt it. Oh, yeah, and guys, the plates are on. And we're tagged to March 2001. No, sorry. 2021. That's better. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Holy crap. I gotta do that mirror still. Oops. I gotta do that mirror still. No way, we have power? What? What? It's been three freaking weeks. Oh, 
Okay. Where did that thing go? Whatever. Okay, well, it's starting to get a little asphyxiated in here. But the fact that that turned over is stupid awesome. I have no idea how the hell that happened. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Remind me to grease these door pins. I was going to pop the hood and put the battery to charge, but... Sounds like I don't need to. So my other question is, is where are my ramps? They're over there in the corner. Oh, I don't feel like doing that tonight. It's currently time to wash my Fitbit again. We got it unmasked. Do need to do an oil change on it. I can't remember where the hell the oil filler is or I think it's on this side here because when we cranked it up, we cranked it up under here and I went in from this angle and I dropped the oil on it. I've only done the oil on this myself once, but like I said, I bought the shit for it. So I was almost tempted to just go to Jiffy Lubes and have them do it. It cost me like nothing. Just have them put friggin' whatever oil into it just for this season and next season put the good stuff into it. I just really want to drive my car, guys. You don't know. Like today, Joss is like, oh, let's go play pool and stuff. And it's like, man, it starts, it runs, it's insured, it's got its freaking plates, it's good, it's good to go. It's It starts, like it's, it's running. It just needs some fresh gasolines and we'll, we'll be good and some oils. But... Ready to rock here, so that's freaking awesome. But like I said, it's not the best paint job. I'm no pro. I never said I was, never claimed to be. But you know what? It looks a freak ton better than it did before. That, and I want to give it a bath too, because there's a lot of like, of polished jizz between the cracks that I need to blast out. But hey, the fact that it started, that's stupid cool. So there you guys go. Dirty bird. Completion. This side here is not the greatest. But it's good enough for me. And that's all that freaking matters in this world. It's good enough for you. And it's yours. And good enough. It's my car. I'm happy with the end results. Good enough for me. Anyway people, hopefully you enjoyed this series. Uh, obviously I'll take you for the first rip with Dirty Bird. And Oreo's pissed off right now because he just heard it start. And he knows he can fit in this car. He has a hell of a time with the truck. He doesn't quite make it on the first bound. Sometimes it's the 72nd. But the car he can get into. And he can see out the window when he's sitting in the seat. So he kind of likes that. The truck not so much. He's really got to get up there to see out the window. Anyway... I think I'm going to shut this down here. So on that note, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to stove them. Down below they go. And until next time, people, peace the freak out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.